Hello guys and welcome to the first episode of Talking with Sharp Div about sports. That's not a very catchy title, is it? We can make all this. We can make all this segment. Every single day in November, I'm going to be uploading a video about sports where I just stand in front of this camera and I talk, as well as a daily vlog. So if you've not seen the daily vlogs, what are you doing? Go watch them before you come and watch this. Today, we are going to be talking about the next Scotland manager. Who I think should be the next Scotland manager. Who's in the running? And we'll talk a wee bit about the squad that's been announced for the Netherlands game. So I'm first going to talk about the squad a wee bit. Ryan Jack of Rangers has been included in this squad. Has been included in this squad. Has been included in this squad. Ryan Jack's done excellently for us this season. Three red cards though, he's going to need to fix that a wee bit. But I think he's been one of the unluckiest players in history of the fucking SPFL. That guy's been given more wrong decisions than I don't know it. But he's got his just rewards and he's in the Scotland squad against Netherlands in the friendly. Now I don't know if he'll play, but it's always good to get in that squad and state your claim. Now let's talk about the rest of the squad. I'm going to insert that squad right now. So as you can see, Jordan Archer of Millwall was in there. No heard a lot about Jordan Archer, but hopefully he's a decent wee player and he gets a chance. We've also got Liam Cooper of Leeds United in there, as well as Paul Hanlon from Hibs. We have got Callum McGregor, who was previously called up because of injuries, but he's given his chance this time. Kenny McLean of Aberdeen in there as well, who's been an excellent performer, a player that I would love to see at Rangers. Graeme Shinney has also been added in the squad, as well as Ryan Christie. So there you go, a lot of Aberdeen players have been called up to the squad, and it's probably deserved, guys. Aberdeen have done well this season, their only loss coming against Celtic, and probably Celtic's best performance since Brendan Rodgers has came to that club. And the surprise announcement for me is Cummins in that squad. Cummins, I don't think, has been doing it down in Nottingham Forest. I think he scored one goal in eight appearances or something like that, but he's in the squad, and that's going to do it for the squad. Let's move on to who I think should be the next Scotland manager to take us to a tournament. So I've headed over to Odds Checker to check the top three managers that are in for the Scotland job, and surprisingly, David Moyes is top of that list. David Moyes, personally, I think should not be given the job. Since leaving Everton, he's done absolutely horribly. He was a flump at United, didn't do well at Real Sociedad, and then I think he got Sunderland relegated. So, ever since Everton, he's not done very well. So, David Moyes, sorry mate, but you've not got my vote. Moving on to the next candidate, and it's actually the caretaker manager right now, Malky Mackay. Notoriously, infamously famous for his racist jokes at Cardiff, but we're not going to speak about that. We're going to speak about him personally as a manager. Is he good enough to be Scotland manager? He has never experienced being a manager of a national team until now. So we'll judge him going forward from this. We can see some of his results and then from there we can see if he's going to be a suitable candidate for that position. In my opinion, the reason why they've brought Malky McKay in is so that he can just step in straight away after Gordon Stratton left and then, I don't know, I don't know. Is did they bring him in in order to just put him in there and make him the manager? Was it to see it, to see how everything works so that when he goes in, he's got a great knowledge of the Scottish game, he's got a great knowledge of the players and that sort of thing. I feel that because again, Malky McKay, you've not got my vote. Moving on to the third manager, and this is a manager that I wouldn't mind at Rangers either. That is a Northern Ireland manager, Michael O'Neill. Michael O'Neill managed to take Northern Ireland, a country of 1.5 million, to the Euros. He managed to get them there and they're now in the playoff rounds to get to the World Cup. He is third favourite on this website, OzChecker, to become the next Scotland manager. And I'm thinking to myself, why on earth would he leave Northern Ireland? The only reasons probably is that he'd probably get paid more money than Scotland and also if Northern Ireland do not qualify for the World Cup, he'll be looking for another managerial post. But he's made such a dent in Northern Irish football for that national team. Would he leave? I don't know, you tell me in the comments. Would Mike O'Neill be your man for the job? Personally, with what he's done with Northern Ireland, I would snap him up. I would take him in an absolute heartbeat at club or country. He's done excellently with the pool of players that he's been given at Northern Ireland. Not a lot to choose from because obviously they're such a small country, but from the players that he's got, he's managed to build a successful team, a winning team, with a strong back line that can sneak games. And, and that's no coincidence. That is no coincidence. That's worked on. When you sneak games 1-0 10 times out of 11, there's no, there's no coincidence there. So there you have it. That's my opinion on who should be the next Scotland manager. Michael O'Neill, you're my man for the job. Who do you want to be Scotland's next manager? Do you want it to be Michael O'Neill, David Moyes, Malky McKay, or do you have another idea? 
put it in the comments, let me know, we'll have a discussion in the comments who we think. If you're seeing a certain manager, give me your opinion on why you want that manager at Scotland. Is he going to be the right man to take us to our first tournament in over 20 years after this World Cup? That's been the first episode of, I don't know what you call this, you name it in the comments. I'm going to be back tomorrow at the same time, 7.15pm. If you're enjoying these videos, hit that like button. If you've not subscribed, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button. Let's get ourselves to 10k. That is my next goal after 3k. Thanks to everybody that's subscribed. But 10k is the goal. Can we do it in a month? I don't know. Thanks for watching this video. I will see you in the next one. I'm out.